everyone and welcome back to another video. Today I have a shopping haul for you guys. For my monthly shop, for the big monthly shop this month, I actually decided to go to Farm Foods, which I don't know, I don't know if it's just a Scottish store or if they have some farm foods down south. I'm really not sure, but up here in Scotland there's quite a lot of farm foods and they're usually just like a smaller version of Iceland, or although you do get some bigger stores, I actually went to a bigger store. They're mostly little versions of Iceland and they have some really good deals. You get some really cheap stuff there. So my brother goes there quite often. In the last few months he started going there quite regularly because he really thinks it's such a good they have such good prices. So I've been listening to him going on about how good farm foods is is and everything in the last couple of months. So I thought I'm gonna go there myself and see how it is. Um I went in without a plan which I never do. I usually always do a meal plan and plan everything that I need for like when I do a monthly shop or a weekly shop, I always plan what I need. But it was really weird. I went in without a plan and then I've done my meal plan afterwards. So uh, there is some stuff that I will need to pick up at the shops in like Tesco or Asda or somewhere. But I did actually get quite a lot of stuff that is suitable for Slimming World from farm foods. I was surprised that some of the things are quite low in sin. Anyway, before I got out of the shopping haul, I am going to get there quickly. I just want to say Happy New Year to each and every one of you. I probably have written you all a message at some point over the last week or something, but this is the, my first proper video of 2021. Like, I haven't filmed anything. I think, oh yeah, I've done the advent boxes that went up on Saturday, but that was filmed like way back in November and December. No, November, because they had to be ready by December. So I haven't done a proper video yet in 2021. So Happy New Year to everyone. I hope <laughs> the way that it started the last couple of days isn't a sign of how it's going to go for the rest of the year. Things can only get better. Here's hoping, eh? Anyway, let's go into this shopping haul. Okay, I need to be really fast because the majority of this shop is all frozen stuff so I need to get it quickly hauled and put away before it defrosts. So I got 12 of these hot dog rolls. I did get Ali some hot dogs as well while we were there and I'm just going to keep these in the freezer. I'm actually going to take them out the bag and put them in little ziplock bags so he can pull them out individually without having to take the whole pack out. These are frozen and then their fruit, their frozen fruit was on offer three for five pound, which I thought was really good price. So I got two cherries, two strawberries, a sliced apple, which I don't think I've ever had frozen apple before, and blueberries. So that's plenty of speed. Um, I also got three bags of their chicken breast fillet. I think these are two and a half kilo bags and they were three for ten pound. Oh no, that's just one kilo. Oh no, the two and a half kilo bags I didn't get. I was going to get the two and a half kilo bags, but... I didn't because, I don't know, they looked a bit funky to me, but these looked like the ones that I normally get from Tesco, so I've got these. So three for £10. Most of the meat in that that you'll see was three for £10. I also got a big two and a half kilo, well 2.4 kilo bag of chicken drumsticks and eight Chinese pork steaks. I don't know the sins, I will add the sins if I can find them later on. And eight gammon steaks. I've got a big bag of these Chinese chicken portions, the barbecue chicken wings. A lot of this stuff is things that Ali can just throw in the oven or the active fryer that for like his lunches, especially when I'm at work or I can throw in for him. I've got some beef meatballs. These won't be for me. These will be for Ali and Mark or whoever. But I did get these for me. These are like cooked chicken and these were three for five pounds for three packets of obviously three for five pounds. So I think I got two of the chicken tikka ones and just one of the plain ones so I can make myself quite an easy, quick and easy um, chicken meal or chicken sweet corn meal or something like that. I got three of the Bernard Matthews things that they had, the breaded chicken and turkey things. They were three for five pounds. Ali loves the ham witches and the mini Kievs so I got them and I also got, you know, as a throwback, turkey drummers. Oh my god, I can't even remember the last time I had turkey turkey drummers. I didn't get these for me. I got them if my nieces happen to stay for tea one night, if their mum and dad are running late from work or something like that. At least I have something that I can throw in the oven for them. And these hot and spicy chicken fillets, the crispy chicken breast goujons and the southern fried chicken bites, there's 50 in there. They were all three for £10 as well but these are all for Ali. He chose these ones 
because he's been loving, you know, breaded chicken things shoved in the active fry. So I thought I'd get him them because he is not going to be at school at least until the 18th. So he will need stuff for lunches and that. The smoked bacon rashers, the 16 pack, these are frozen. Um, they were two for five pounds, so I got two of them. I saw these sausage burgers and I thought, mm, I wonder what they taste like. They were 12 in a pack for 8 to 9p or something. So I don't know if they'll be any good, but I mean, for 8 to 9p, they're worth a try. Again, for Ali's lunches and for Mark and all that, I got macaroni pies and a packet of scotch pies. These were like a pound or something for each pack. And I got them steak bakes, chicken and bacon bakes. I got them these uh, Jamaican style patty things to try. I thought Ali might like that. Just something different. And two packets of these Donner kebabs. I remember years ago when I used to go to eat farm foods quite regularly. I used to always get their Donner kebab stuff. It was like a quick and easy lunch. They're not for me, these are for Ali and whoever else will be here. But um, I thought he might like to try them. I don't know if he has tried these ones before, but I remember really enjoying the these as like a quick snack or something. And then I also got 30 fish fingers for £2. And these are chip shop style cooked Irish, sauce, Irish sausages in a crispy batter. Anytime we get a Chinese, sorry, a chippy, Mark always orders battered sausages, so I got them, them just for him. So if we have a fake away or something one night that he's not going to particularly like, he can have these. I don't know if they'll be any good, but they're worth it. I think these were like a pound as well, less than a pound. Right, I'm going to get all this away and I still have some more frozen stuff to show you guys. Okay, I don't think I'm going to fit all this in, but I'll have to play a little bit of freezer Jenga just to try and cram it all in. I hope I can. Oh God, I hope I can. Um, I got a big bag of American fries. These are just for Ali or whoever, not for me. And I also got some hash browns for quick and easy. Um, cauliflower, oh, their vegetables was so cheap. All their frozen veg was so cheap. I can't remember all the prices, but super, super cheap. So I got cauliflower, leeks, stir fry veg, green beans, broccoli, sweet corn, mixed peppers, leeks, country mix, sliced cabbage, Oh, I thought I'd already said cabbage, no. And then I got two packets of the McCain's jacket potatoes because they were really cheap as well. They were like two for two pound or two for three pound or something. The fish was two bags for eight pounds. So I got a big bag of haddock and a bag of cod. And then smoked sausages for Ali, really. I got two of them. I think they were two for two pound. He also picked up this. I think he's meant to give me the money back, but he hasn't as of yet. The Pilgrim's Choice was really cheap, like one ninety nine or something for 550 grams. And then I also just got a regular mature cheddar because Ali might find this too, too strong. And then again for him, I got two of the little bags of pepperami. They were two for three pounds and some pots of joy. Oh yeah, I got um, two of these barbecue rib Russell burger things. They're the only ones that he really likes. He used to eat them all, but now he's went right off them all. And these are the only ones that he kind of likes, so I got him them and he's already had one. Okay, I just had to send Ali along with a couple of bits, a couple of bags of the veg to my brothers to keep them in his freezer just now. Because my freezers, both my freezers are proper rammed. I felt like I had so much space because they were practically empty after Christmas and New Year and everything. Oh my gosh, at least I've got brothers and family that live close by, I can keep it in theirs. Anyway, I've got a few store cupboard things to show you and I did pop into Tesco for a few bits. I've not done a proper meal plan for the month so uh, I might have to sit and work everything out at some point and make sure that I've got enough to keep me going. I'm sure I'll have enough for a couple of weeks. Well, I'll have enough meat and everything for a few months and that just, you know, all the other bits to make proper meals, like fresh stuff and that. Anyway, the cereal was on offer, these big massive packs, three for £10. So I just got Ali to choose his sell three cereals and obviously he chose the Crave. That's the milk chocolate one and that's the hazelnut one and he got Cocoa Pops, all the chocolate cereal. I'm not going to argue, at least he'll eat it. I got him a jar of the hot dogs, got a big massive tub of ketchup, the Heinz stuff as well, look at me splashing out. I got some, they had loads of the crucial sauces, so I got some garlic meal, two of the barbecue ones, um, because Ali and I both love this. Ali loves this, he has it with everything. And I got a burger sauce, and the 
fry light was only £1.39, which is like, I think that might be the cheapest I've ever seen fry light uh, for a good few years. So I got two of them. I also got two of the big bags of cat food because they were two for £7. This is the stuff that Nala eats. I got her a herring, tuna and veg. And what's that one? Chicken and duck. And I also got her two big bags of the, sorry, two big boxes of the cat pouches, the meat. And they were two for £20. And also not pictured is the 24 packs of sugar-free iron brew because they go in my, my the cupboard straight away. They were three packs for £20. So I got three packs. Ali also had some Christmas money left and he got three packs and they're in his bedroom. <laughs> Honest to God, we're addicted to this stuff. The Harry Ramston's mushy peas were three for a pound, so I got some of them. I've not had mushy peas for ages. And the pot noodles were two for a pound, so Ali just chose himself some. He got two of the curry and one of the beef and tomato because he can't remember if he likes these. I don't have any passata. I'll have pr plenty of chopped tomatoes, but... I'll, oh, it's tomato puree. I'm guessing that's Passata. So yeah, it is Passata. Um, they were three for a pound, so I just stocked up on them because I've not got I've not got any meal plan, like I said, but I like to always have these in my cupboards. These uh, caramel caramel millionaire slices were just they weren't a pound, they were 59p or 49p, so I just picked up them. For like the girls of the here, because next week, well, by the time you guys are watching this. My brother and his wife will have returned to work, so I'll have the girls in the afternoons again. They had two weeks off at Christmas, the lucky sods. Um, I just picked up some regular tea bags because I'm, I don't think I've got any regular tea bags. Um, Ali and I both drink Earl Grey or the biscuit brew stuff. We very re rarely ever have regular ones, but if somebody comes round, which they can't at the minute, I've just realised nobody will be coming round for a couple of weeks, but... It's nice to have them if somebody is around, uh, which won't happen for a couple of weeks. But there you go. I'm ready for when lockdown's lifted. Again, with my nieces in mind, I got these LOL muffins. Oh God, I think this is just like £1.50 or something and it has 10 little muffins inside it. And I know one of my nieces is absolutely obsessed with LOL and her little sister copies everything that she does. So they'll both love these. I did get two breads. I've already put one in my bread bin. Um, so two wholemeal breads, they were two for 160 I think it was and these little ready to bake baguettes which obviously won't be for me but they were two in a pack for 49p so I've got two packs of them and they're going to last till the end of January normally I would put these in the freezer but I've no space but they'll do in the bread bin till the end of January and if I can get freezer space before that time I will put them in the freezer I also got some rolls because I know we're going to have sloppy joes one night and from Tesco, I got two jars of the Candarelle Sugar Lay. I've already opened one. I've finally, finally ran out of my um, bin liners that I got at Costco. God, was it back in May? I think it was back in May and we ran out right over Christmas. So I had to pick up more bin liners. I got two tubs of cottage cheese. Again, I've not done a meal plan and I just like to have stuff that I know I'm going to be able to eat on Slim and World. Just quick and easy things. I got some aromatic baby leaf salad, some bananas. I do still have some oranges and a couple of apples in the fridge, so I don't really need too much in the way fruit. Plus, I've just got all that frozen stuff. Some tomatoes. I saw this lightest Philadelphia with herbs. I don't think I've had this one before. And if it's the same as the lightest Philadelphia, just the plain one, it should only be like one sin for 25 grams or something. Like I said, I will put all the sins on the screen if I can find them. Um, a large cucumber, some peppers, I got the four pack of the 0% fat natural yogurts. Oh no, that's burst! Oh, that'll have been us, we'll have crammed stuff in the car. And some mushrooms. So I definitely will have to do maybe a little top-up shop for fresh stuff and other ingredients to go with meals and all that. But I'll sit and work that out at another time. It's When I went into farm foods, it's hard to know what they have. They don't have an online shop, so I can't plan things. So I'll need to sit and do that now and make sure that I've got enough to last us the month because I did get a lot of crap for Ali and Mark and the kids and all that but I don't know if I've got quite enough for me. I should be fine though. Anyway, thank you so much for watching this video. Please like it if you enjoyed it, subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you next time.